this is Mima, and and uh, she is telling us uh, what's telling us just a few minutes ago some of her story. I just wanted to kind of recap for you guys a little bit that um, she you know, comes from a very poor family that's they've uh, they've fled across the border some years ago, and uh, because they didn't have any other options for for their kids, they were uh, sent to a, a temple school. And you know, it's one of those two where you, you know, as a girl, you'd wear all the white, you know, robes and so on. And and uh, in the school, it was very challenging for her because it, it it didn't have a strong focus on on education. It was it's more like a you know a religious type education. But she said such things as the bathrooms were extremely dirty to the point where she'd rather go outside. And and uh, you know, it's difficult because they got. Uh, beaten a lot, but also uh, what was very scary for her, especially as a young girl, is that a lot of the the teachers there would come in whenever they wanted to and have sex with the kids at night. And so she really, you know, begged her and begged her parents to get her out of that situation. For several years, they weren't willing to do that. The the food as well, uh, she commented, was was. Uh, was difficult. A lot of the kids got sick often from the food, so it was just real poor quality care. Now, there's some, there are some places in, in Thailand that are temple schools that do an amazing job of taking care of the children too. So I, I just want to be clear that every situation is not like this one. But in this particular situation, and we're not naming locations, but the the um, this particular location actually went into national news shortly after she left the school for the problems that had happened there at the home with the sexual abuse issues and so on that happened. So anyways, since then she's, she's been with us just a short time, but she says it's night and day difference between being there, which was you know very difficult, uh, like a fiery experience for her of, of difficulty, whereas being here, she said, the first word that came to mind for her was it was, being, it was fun. It was fun to be here and just a different kind of environment altogether. So, um, you know, from our perspective, looking at her life, she's somebody who, who was kind of just saved from the fire, you know, because uh, she herself wasn't wasn't sexually assaulted, but she came inches from it many times. And uh, she was terrified the entire time she was there. But by God's grace, she's here with us instead. So. In terms of this, the situation there, um, we were, you know, as we as we discussed the the, the situation of, of sexual abuse, because she refused, often refused the um, the uh, attentions of the the teachers and so on that were there. She was looked down on and she was beat often and abused because of that. So even though she didn't, she wasn't sexually abused. She protected herself there. She was physically abused because of that. So, so my my heart has been strengthened so much being here my opportunities to to study you know to learn uh, to be exposed to to um, you know things that that I didn't know about it's just it's, it's like a new life for me here <laughs>